I have been editing in DaVinci Resolve for years, but I kept running into the same problem. There were effects that I wanted to create that After Effects editors easily could do, but they just weren't possible for me in DaVinci Resolve. So that's why I decided to build this plugin pack. Not only to save time, but also to unlock effects that most people thought were impossible to make in DaVinci Resolve. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you how you can try some of these effects completely for free. So the first effect in the pack is the new light sweep. So I have just made a blue background to show it how it works. And now let the new light sweep. So as you can see, we get this pretty cool looking light sweep with a pretty nice looking edge over here where you can turn on the glow and turn it off and you get uh, controls for sweep only so we only have the sweep so if you want to add some grain let's say you can add it just to the sweep alone and then if you enable the tint down here on the edge you can control the tint on the edge and we can add it as well on the sweep so we control the tint of the sweep but let's just turn those off real quick and you can of course use it on the edit page as well so if I just add a title real quick and custom it. Now we can just add the light sweep to it and then we'll get this pretty cool looking light sweep effect on the text and if we want to animate it of course we can just make the angles a little bit different something like this and then just go to the first frame keyframe and drag it over and go to the last frame and drag this one over so we get a nice animation of it. So that was the light sweep and then we have the new highlighter so if I just grab this highlighter here we can see there is a highlight if I then jump down here and make it fusion overlay I can choose wherever I want it to be and make it wider just by dragging here and then we get this pretty cool highlight animation and then on the top we can see it's a background type and this is just a control for if the background is light we can choose light background with dark text and then if the background is dark we can choose dark background with light text then we can see we have this links page here this first button is a button for how to use the plugin so we'll find a tutorial on how to use it and then we have the latest version then we will get the latest version of the plugins and down here we have a link to our website so you can contact us or anything like that and this links page will be on all of our plugins so you always can find the latest version and a video on how to use the plugin and let's say i want the text to be another color then i can click enable text color here and then i can choose the color i want the text to be so that's pretty cool and this is a feature i haven't seen many other highlighters do the effect you can change the text color itself down here you can change the speed of the animation so if i wanted to go faster we can just drag it up like this so it's pretty fast and then you can change the animation curve and you can add a motion blur to it as well so that was the highlight then we have the new anim as well which is very cool because you now can make animations really quick just by adding this animation plugin i have so if i just go to the size control i can do size on and then we get a size animation for it and we can choose how long the animation is um based on the animation length here in the new anim engine and then we can add a delay as well and the thing i really like about this plugin is most plugins is using the regular anim curve where it's just based on the length of the clip how long the animation is on this one it's based on how many frames there is so if i make it 50 it the animation itself spans over 50 frames and then i can add animation delay which just delays it by the frames i make it so if i do like 20 the animation will start 20 frames after the beginning here which is really cool and then we can of course do position as well so it slides up and then we can change the easing as well and then we have a control for the angle as well to this animation and then we have a blend control as well so it fades in so if i just drag the offset down a little bit we can see it do this pretty fade in and if we want it to be extra smooth we can add some motion play as well this was the new anim plugin the next effect we have is the inner glow so if we just jump into fusion let's just type inner glow now we get this pretty cool looking inner glow where we can change the intensity so we get a nice inner glow and we can even make this one black let's say make it a blue inner glow and then just turn up the radius we get this pretty cool looking a box here and then we can do it with a circle as well we want to just turn up the intensity so i make like this you can do a lot of cool stuff with the inner glow and you can of course add it to a text if you want to as well and we have our inner shadow you can add that uh, to a box if you want to as well or anything like that but what you could do as well is just add some depth to uh, to some text so just take the inner shadow and let's just remove it, move the offset so it goes over a little bit and change the angle and then just turn the blend down quite a bit so we get a lot of depth to the text and the next plugin is new glow and this glow is 
quite a lot better than the building glow in DaVinci Resolve have because it's a lot more high quality. And you can of course use this in Fusion as well. I will just show you how to use it in the edit page. Then you can change the quality of the glow. So if you want it to be low, medium or high or ultra. And then we can change the spread of it. Basically just enhances the radius. Uh, and this is the actual radius of it. And we can change the tint of it if we want to as well. And then you can just click on reset color changes to reset the color changes you made in the tint and you can change the apply mode and the bit depth so on youtube videos we use 8-bit color depth so you can just make it int 8 and that was this effect so next effect is the half tone so let's go into fusion and just add that and you can see what it does and we get these pretty cool dots here the half tone is mostly visible where the colors are slight and on the dot blur and the contrast here we can change which part of the screen the half tone affects so if i turn this one up it only affects uh, this part here which is the lightest area now i can turn down a little bit and then we get this pretty cool looking half tone effect and you can get a lot of cool stuff with this and i'll show that in another video if you're interested and last but not least we have the near reflection so if i add that one you can see there is some reflection down here so if we go into it we can uh, change the fall off which is just uh, making this fall off a little bit softer and i'll turn on the blur size and turn up the intensity so it's just uh, reflecting what we have up here and then i can can change the fall of distance turn up the softness and then we will get a smooth fade out like this and then we can add some blur to it to make it more realistic and turn down the intensity and then i will just add it on top like this so we get this pretty cool reflection down here and this can look a lot better if we add some text to it and stuff like that and that's all the plugins for now but over time i'll keep adding plugins to this pack these tools are all built because i need them myself but now they are available for anyone who wants creative control in davinci resolve without all the friction you can download the starter pack completely for free it includes a light version of the light sweep and the complete version of the glow. And if you want everything I just showed in this video, you can get the complete core pack for just $10 within the first week after this video goes live. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day out there.